It is the moment that I've been dreading and it is time to go into my 100 baby challenge 2.0 save now that we have the infants. Now I have recently tried doing a speed run of the 100 baby infant challenge and honestly I gave up before they even aged up to toddlers because it was a nightmare. Check out that video if you haven't already but today we are going to be jumping back into our 100 baby challenge save and exploring the infants a little bit and how they are going to affect this one. 100 baby challenge and as you may notice i have updated the house again <laughs> i ran out of money so it's not perfect but i wanted to do a little spring clean and change it up a little bit and use some of the bits that came with the growing together expansion pack so at the minute it is unfinished but this is what it looks like from the outside and then inside like i said completely unfinished and we've just basically got some essential bits such as toilet paper but this is the hallway we've got a downstairs bathroom here. The kitchen has just things that I've taken over from the old house as well as a couple of counters, oven, fridge. This is going to be a lounge living area eventually. This is the baby's room and this is the teens children's kind of room. And then upstairs we have got a second bathroom and then Taz's bedroom as well for all of the woohoos. Just seen. I don't know why but there's no traits on this lot. I don't know if it's that, that's because I bulldozed it but I'm going to go ahead and add our traits back. So we had child's play, good schools, and of course on the ley line. We may as well get crackalacking with some gameplay. So now if we come on into this game, we have got a few different things. So down here, we've got our milestones. Oh my Lord. <laughs> this is going to be so full once we finish the 100 baby challenge. So far we've had Tabby, Kai. Okay, so it's not in order. Tabby joined the family. Taz had a baby. Taz had a baby. Oh, wait a minute. Is this going to include the ones that I sold to science? Wait, no, it isn't. Wait, so were we one, two, three, four, five? Have we had 10 babies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have. We're 10 babies through the 100 baby challenge. But of course, they don't really count until we age them up and move them on out. So in our household at the minute, because I have not recorded for a couple of weeks, as since the base game update came out and the growing together pack, a lot of the mods that I use were needing to be updated, basically. So I've been waiting for that. But we have got a full household at this current moment in time. River is our eldest sim. He is currently at a level C in school. So we're going to need to get him working on homework and getting him moved out before we can get Taz pregnant. We then have Akira and Kai, the twins, also both on Cs. So got to work on their homework and whatnot today. We've got Bella Goff's babies, Alice and Rosalie. One is outside and their fundamental skills are very low so we'll have to help them out with them and then the newborns Quinn and Love Love Quinn in the season you I've just finished the most recent season of it and would highly recommend so it is 12 in the morning the kids have school in eight hours we need them to do homework oh my god all the ghosts are coming out to play today we've got Bella and um the Bob Ross guy Taz is sorting out these babies needs and as you can see now when Sims are working on certain skills it will show above the little skills bar which is really cool the baby's cries are so annoying i'm convinced that they've made them even worse but let's sort out the baby's needs i think she's gonna go ahead and feed them both yeah and all of our sims why is bella goff getting into bed and why is she sparkling is that because she died from the sun from exposure to the sun i'm imagining so you are working on your homework as are you and we've got river up here also working on his homework so once they've all done their homework they can go ahead and take themselves off to bed the little toddlers are going off to bed there as well taking themselves off while taz feeds the new little newborns you have no legs and i don't know why are you part of the ghosts <laughs> you've been spending too much time with the ghosts that you're becoming invisible anyway don't start walking through walls it's probably just some broken cc Ooh, Rosalie has a new quirk. She hates bedtime and resists having to go to bed. Toddlers with the hates bedtime quirk tend to wake up shortly after falling asleep and will often ask their caregiver for various things to avoid sleeping. Love that, cool stuff. 
Great. We really love that. Thanks so much. Um, that means that we are going to constantly have to be checking on Rosalie. That is not fun. Rosalie, get your little bum to bed. Okay, we're going to have to go and put Rosalie to sleep. Otherwise, she's going to wake up the newborns. Oh, what a blooming nightmare. Would you ever stop going into all these things? We now have a broken bath and now you're going to break the toilet? Am I going to have to release all the ghost spirits? Because this is annoying. Is there any way to make the ghosts behave? What? What is wrong with you? I've just changed your diaper. I have fed you. I've cuddled you. What is wrong? Let's get some money from these leftover bits and bobs. Oh my God, it's still crying. What do you want? What is wrong? Have I not just changed your stinky diaper? Have you done it again? Oh, I think they've done, <laughs> they've done another stinky in their diaper. Blooming nightmare. This is stress. Do you not think we should... Oh my God, are you going to break that as well? Do you think we should release these ghost spirits? Because otherwise we're going to be here. Oh my God, we have to repair everything. We are going to be here repairing things until the day we die. If we always have up to 100 ghosts haunting our house and breaking all the objects. What do we do, you lot? Help. I need all the help I can get. Bella, would you ever go away? Why are you sleeping on every bed in this house? Don't you dare start haunting up here as well. Look at this new shower, by the way. New little shower combo that came. Was it with the Grown Together pack or was it the base game update? I don't know, but it's gorgy and I love it. Oh my God, the little is crying again. What is wrong? I don't understand. What is wrong with you? I've changed your diaper. I've done everything. And you're still crying. I've had enough. Oh my God, is somebody broken? Oh, just go away. I've actually, I can't deal with this. Just go away. Everything is being broken by these stupid ghosts. How do I stop this? I was going to say, if I lock the bathroom for only household members, that won't even help, right? Because the ghosts can just fly through the wall. Oh dear, oh dear. This is an actual living nightmare. Can we tell Bella to just go away as well? Go away way. Rosalie has another quirk. Rosalie seems to naturally rise with the sun. Early riser toddlers are more likely to wake up when the sun comes up, so long as they've already gotten enough rest. So you're telling me Rosalie hates bedtime, but she's an early riser. So she's gonna <laughs> forever take... Oh, look, she's changing her nappy. She's gonna take forever to go to sleep and then she'll wake up early. It's a lose-lose situation. Okay, can you potty train Rosalie? Cause she needs a wee wee. My God, this child is doing my head in. It has been crying all night. Okay, school for the kiddos starts soon. I have got to change this child's trousers. <laughs> Cause right now he looks like he's floating. He's walking on nothing, essentially. Taz, you can go and get some sleep when you finally sort out that baby. And I'm gonna help Help you by cleaning up the diapers and bottles. Okay, Rosalie's now acquired the potty skill. Why is this child still crying? We've changed your diaper. We've fed you. We've done everything. And you're still a screaming mess. Help with needs. I don't understand. I physically do not understand what this child wants. Love has literally been asleep all night and Quinn is an absolute nightmare. Right, let's help these babies so you can go and get some foodies, Rosalie. And Alice she is on her way to get some foodies as well. Okay, the kiddos slash teens are all gonna head off to school now. In decent moods other than River being stink, but he is feeling happy. So I really hope he gets a B at school today. Taz has been nailing it. Clumsy no more, but has she discovered the key to being a perfectionist? Okay, so now with the base game update, is it the base game update or is it the new pack? I wanna say it's the base game update. We can swap her trait from clumsy to perfectionist. I'm gonna say no, because if things aren't perfect, then... <laughs> Oh, the reason we got that is because she reached parenting level 10. Okay, so now we can do the super efficient baby care. Taz has declined a self-discovery trait. She didn't feel like it was the right fit for her at this time. She may discover a new one in the future. All right, you are going to go ahead and actively participate at school today, as is everybody else. This child is in our arms and is still screaming. What is wrong with you? What is wrong? Genuinely, find out what's wrong because I don't understand. Right. Look at this, she's changing the baby's diaper and it still stink. What am I doing wrong? I'm changing the diaper and I've changed it five million times and it's still not working. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm gonna focus on these kiddos now. So can you go party? They've got their fundamental skills, the toddlers. Let's work on, oh, doing my head in. All right, you can go ahead and play some Sim Shake. What am I doing wrong? Can somebody tell me, is this new 
newborn glitched. Why is this one asleep the whole time? And this one is screaming for every newborn in the neighborhood. Change temperament. Calm, sensitive, clingy, average. I don't want to like do that. But I just want to know why the child won't stop screaming. Okay, so you're working on thinking skill by going and playing in these things. So you go do that. Taz, I don't know what you can do, honestly. So try change the diaper again. But I genuinely don't understand what is what's wrong. I'm sorry. How long have we got until these babies age up? Right, she can do super efficient newborn care now. So that obviously means she's going to do everything, such as feeding, changing the diaper, doing all of the stuff. So is it still going to cry? It's still stinky. What am I supposed to do? I don't get it. This child has not woken up. There's something wrong with this child because it literally has not woken up. But the other one is still screaming even after superficial baby care. I can't even speak. Can I like mute the baby sounds for now? Because this is annoying. I think this is some sort of glitch because one baby's asleep and the other is away. The baby's birthdays are today as well. So I'm like, do I, let's just age them up. We can, according to the 100 baby challenge rules, you can age the babies up when it is their birthdays. So I think let's just do that because right now i can't cope oh alice got a quirk this time she seems a little obsessed with water toddlers who love water are more likely to do things like splash in the toilets ask to take baths and seek out other activities involving water and our power's been turned off we have just amount of money from i believe selling nappies and bottles in this money making bin so we can just about pay our bills let's go and age up these kiddos because i i can't i cannot do it i can't deal with this if it continues to scream as an infant then I'm done and I'll never do the 100 baby challenge again. I've changed its diaper five million times. Oh, look at her taking a picture of it, aging up. Quinn, we're going to randomize you. One, two, three. And you've got the calm trait. Funny that, isn't it? Because you've not been calm at all as a newborn. But anyway, Quinn's got the calm trait and is aging up and going down onto his little map. Let's go ahead and age up love who has not woken up in the last 24 hours. Oh my God, it's still crying. Let's just ignore it for two seconds. Happy birthday, love. Ignore your screaming brother. One, two, three. And love has the sensitive trait. Probably sensitive from the amount of screaming her poor little ears have heard over the last 24 hours. She's got sensitive ears. There we go. Let's go and have a little look at them in Cass. Okay, so at the minute, I do not have any infant Cass CC. So we are just going to have to kind of go with it. This child has got red eyes. I think that is due to my default eyes potentially messing up so i'm just gonna give you random green eyes and we'll leave your look how it is because like i said i don't have any custom content hair or anything like that but i will just put a little cute outfit on you i think there we go that is the little annoying child that is quinn kebabs and this <laughs> is his little sister love there we go little quinn and love kabaz now i saw this tweet from dr gluon where he was saying that people were wondering what is going to be the goal to age up the infants then into toddlers and he came up with the idea that for each section in the infant milestones you need to have two of the milestones completed so for fine motor for gross motor for firsts and for social two milestones have to be completed before you can then age them up into toddlers so for now that is what we are going to go with and we will just see how we get on now our infants are both sleepy so i think let's shove them in bed sorry not shove let's neatly kindly safely put them into bed as i've just we've got quite a small space here but we'll just pop them in and see how we get on so love is going to go in this bed and we will put quinn in this bed quinn is going to bed and hopefully this time he doesn't start screaming all blooming afternoon our focus now is on our little kiddos rosalie is sleepy so she's gonna be of no use let's teach rosalie to talk i think for now because for, for some reason oh now it is i was gonna say it wasn't letting us put the toddler to sleep but we'll work on a communication skill oh god can't deal with that i literally cannot deal with that child new family dynamic strict when it comes to taz and rosalie a sense of order seems to abound as the younger sim has a deep respect for their older family member often meeting the older sim's high expectations for family members with a strict dynamic the older sim will ask the younger sim to do things like clean more i would not say that taz has a strict family dy dynamic this is really interesting though because obviously you can set family dynamics when you're in cast and you're creating the sims but it's cool that it also comes 
comes up as an option in the game now as well. Everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Kai was not invited to. He thought the host was his friend, so it doesn't make sense. Should he ask a friend or let it go? Ask a friend. Kai got a shrug for an answer and now his friend is avoiding him. Oh, we don't need bully friends. Anyway, Quinn has not stopped crying, even though down here it says that they are asleep. I can tell it was going to reset him, but we will not. Okay, you are out here making an a mess. You're angry from the unwanted infant siblings. Right, the toddlers are going to occupy themselves on their iPads. Let's see. I know that Quinn has been the screamier child, but I'd like to see if we can work on some milestones with him. So for social, he got his first smile. If we go ahead and wake him up, how angry is he going to be? Oh, he's hungry. So we'll wake him up and we will feed him. And then we'll do things like tummy time and see if he can unlock anything to do with that. Big stretch. Oh, he's screaming already. Love that. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we'll breastfeed him and then I'm going to select work on tummy time. But grades are up. Akira came home with a B and River came home with a B. River swiped an A painting while at school and Kai didn't do so well. Oh dear. Right, Quinn is being fed and then I think we'll go ahead and do some tummy time. You are feeling super stressed. So why don't you go and take a bath with some rose petal soaks. Hopefully that will calm you down. And these kids are coming back feeling super confident so you can go ahead and do some homework and akira has drawn a, a little school drawing drawn on his first day of school that's kind of cute i love that so with the grown together pack they can now come home with little special drawings and also kai drew one on his first day of school very sweet so we've got little flowers and a horsey unicorn type doodah okay so taz is going to try some tummy time with quinn if that doesn't make him scream even more than he has been i I don't know what will but at least she's uh focusing on that river is here having a very relaxing bubble bath after his stressful day at school oh brainchild learning children can sharpen their mental skills and be entertained never noticed that before that must be new right and scare max and sitcom central families getting into and out of funny situations tv classics these must be some new channels that's really cool why don't we watch some sitcom central once he's had his bath and both Akira and Kai are going to do their homework. The kiddos are still playing on their iPads. Rosalie's gone for a little nap. And Mama is helping Quinn with tummy time. Okay, she's feeling hungry though. Oh God, and he's screaming already. We left you for one second. God, these infants are so annoying, aren't they? Don't know why I'm doing 200 baby challenges at the same time and uh, <laughs> starting them not too long before the infants were released. To be fair, this particular one, I started before we knew anything about infants, I'm fairly sure. The other one is my own blooming fault. Okay, put the child to bed. Put the screamer into bed, Taz. Why are you not moving? Quirks revealed. Love rarely wakes up in a good mood. Great. Infants with the hate wake up time. Quirk are more likely to behave like grumpy bunnies when they wake up from a nap or sleep. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, Love is feeling happy other than being hungry. <laughs> I say that and she's there screaming. So once mum has some foodies, she can go and give her a feed. Why are you not sleeping, Quinn? You were absolutely exhausted. And Love is also gassy. Oh, Alice can now talk. She reached communication level three. And I think I just saw some like sparks coming off of her when she reached that. So well done to you. Why don't you go ahead and focus on some sim shape? Love also enjoys being held. God, these quirks are really cute, but we have got some needy infants on our hands, don't we? She's having some gas trouble. Love needs to let it go. Oh gosh, we need one of those little um things to help them with the gas or something. Like, can we do some tummy time? Would that help? Let's try that actually. If we do some tummy time, and like maybe rubbing her little legs and hopefully we can help her get rid of her gas. Okay, she's gonna do some tummy time with little love. Look at the little bunny tail. Oh, we got a little grumpy bum bun on our hands here. Okay, love is feeling a lot happier, which is good. Oh, as I say that, she gets all sad. Why don't we give her some cuddles maybe? And uh, I think she might have just done a poo poo in her nappy. Let's go ahead and change her diaper and then pop her into bed. God, their energy levels go 
go down so quick. Like before we put her on that play mat, her energy bar was like right up to here and now it's back down to half. They are sleepy. Okay, the babies are both in bed. Love is super angry, but hopefully she'll just fall asleep. And things are not doing too badly. The older kids are just eating some dinner and then are gonna head off to bed themselves. But things are looking okay here. Nobody's screaming. I don't wanna speak too soon, but it's looking good. Taz is actually gonna get some sleep tonight, I think. Okay, I spoke too soon. Why is there a celebrity in our house? Biryani, Biryani why are you here? Turn off fame shine, cause that's really annoying. But also, can you just go home? Ah, he's putting his little handsies around the bottle. Wait, that's really cute. Okay, and then once he's been fed, she can go ahead and put him back down to sleep and go get some rest yourself, my love. I wish you could blum in like lock the door for ghosts. Okay, finally, everybody is asleep. It's one in the morning. That's not too bad going. I'm gonna sell these stinky plates and hopefully the boys come back with A's at school and we can age them up. First person awake, would you believe it? It is Quinn. Quinn is proper stink. He needs his diaper changed, but other than that, he's in a decent needs mood. And Love is hungry and also needs to do poo poos in her diaper because her blood is getting low. So we'll let her get that out as well. Oh, poor little munchkin muffin head. Oh, Alice is doing well, so let's utilize that to our advantage and get her working on her thinking skill. I think in this room, I'm going to get like a little stereo so that they can play music and learn to dance. So this comes with the new pack, actually. So let's pop that right there. Okay, little Quinn is getting his first bubble bath. Ooh, first bath milestone unlocked. Nothing's better than the clean, happy Quinn after his first bath. I don't know how happy he's going to be, but we'll see. Right, Tad desperately needs to sort her herself out because she's not in a good mood and we can't have something happening to her again unfortunately we have no adults in the house at the moment so the toddlers are all gonna they're all gonna have to care for themselves for just a second alice has learned thinking level two and rosalie needs some food and a bath so for now can you just go and eat the franks and beans i know it's not a nice breakfast but at least sort out your hunger river has two tests today and one of them's going to be tough there's time to study beforehand should he spend all of his time studying for the harder test or use the time to study for both. Ooh, why not study for both? The extra study time was vital for the test and brushing up on the material for the easy test was worthwhile too. He got a B plus and an A and he got a small performance gain. Okay, awesome. That's what we needed for River. Alice is a picky eater. Cool. You know what? The toddlers can also sit in the high chairs, right? And we can feed them different foods. So we'll have to start doing that as well at some point. But obviously, <laughs> we've got infants at the minute. The infants are asleep right now, though. But they're bound to wake up anytime soon. So we'll just let the little girls, um, the little toddlers help themselves to food for now. Alice ate some food that she did not like. Who knows? She might like it tomorrow, but definitely not today. Wait a minute. This toddler has got flies bobbing around them. Why? What happened? It's not Oh, I was, wait a minute, it's not the toddler. It is, it is the diaper, not the toddler. I was like, I swear we just changed this toddler's diaper. It was the diaper. Right, you've just had your bath. Alice, it's time that you have your bath as well. I think Taz just got completely soaked from Rosalie there in the bath. Look at her with her little princess crown. Isn't she the most adorable little muffin head? And she's got a little backpack as well that looks like a pig. Kids are home. Akira got an A, River got a B. What did the other kid get? The other kid, what did we get? Okay, River's still on a B. Akira got an A and Kai's still on a B. Okay, here is a cake I made earlier. Literally, it was uh, in our little fridge thing. And let's get Akira to blow out the candles. Today was picture day for River. Hopefully he remembered. If not, hopefully he didn't forget to smile. Taz, can you go ahead and do some tum tum time, please? Okay, Akira's aged up and Kai likes kids music. Akira earned a bonus trait, high self-esteem from level of confidence. These sims regularly become confident even when failing to gain skills or succeed at work. They're also less likely to develop a fear of failure. Cool, one, two, three. So he is self-absorbed and a music lover. Let's give him the teen admired icon. This sim wants to be a trendsetter, popular and influential. And there we go. That is Akira Kabaz. We will jump into cast and give him a little CC makeover in just 
last a hot second. I've had these babies in here bobbing to music to try and improve their movement skill for like the last two hours. Look how cute they are. I love them. They're so sweet and adorable. Little vampires bobbing to music. They're doing that. Taz, I told you to do tummy time. Love has the coo milestone unlocked. My pride and joy from watching Milestone. Taz can't believe how much a little one has accomplished in such little time. Interestingly then, Love has two social milestones, but we need to get some fine motor first and gross. So you're gonna work on, oh, she lifted her head. Okay, cool. Keep doing tummy time and she'll keep doing that. So I believe Akira was, okay, he's got some random CC. He looks like he was the child of that random doctor, the one that looked like Bob Ross. So I'm gonna kind of go with that and we'll give him a CC makeover. He's got very sort of pale features. So I might make his kind of brows and hair quite pale looking as well. And I do remember that they came in with pink eyes, not pink eye as in like conjunctivitis. <laughs> Can't be having that, but pink eye as in he's got pink eyes. So we will leave that and just kind of go with the flow for him. Honestly, if anybody looks vampiric, it is this kid. I'm trying to like add a bit of color to his face. <laughs> flush his cheeks a little bit so he doesn't look like a vampire because he's not a vampire but it's kind of um yeah he's got very vampire-y sort of features okay so this is akira kabaz and his cc makeover because he's got his pink eyes i thought i'd kind of go candy pop sort of vibe and give him kind of purpley lilac sort of hair let me know what you think down in the comment section below wait a minute that child was fully sitting up has he achieved that he was sitting up and then he went back down this one's doing her tummy time Ooh. Quinn just unlocked a reach milestone and started reaching. That's got to be the fine motor, I think. The girls are still here bobbing along hours later working on their movement skill, but now they're getting a bit tired. So she desperately needs a nap. So go get some sleep. Let's turn this off. And River's going through a loud phase. He'll pick up instruments and turn up music and yell. Lovely, now we really need you to get out of here, River. And Quinn unlocked the coup milestone as well. Okay, Taz is gonna pass out, so let's get, send her off to sleep. Okay, River's put the babies to bed, so hopefully love kind of calms down and goes to sleep. She's feeling angry, how dare you put me down? Oh, she wanted to, <laughs> she wanted to stay all nice and warm in her brother's arms, but unfortunately her brother is stinky and needs a shower and has to sleep ready for school tomorrow. Okay, things are going well actually. They've gone to sleep. Everybody's gone to sleep. Taz is finally getting some sleep. She wants to check on the infant. No, we don't want to do that. And um, River is going to have a shower and get himself off to sleep soon. Now, in terms of everybody's skills, our toddlers, you just need to be working on movement, thinking, and potty in the next episode. Rosalie needs to work on movement, communication, thinking, and potty. We've got to really work with them. And then the infants. So Quinn needs to get another fine motor skill. Our first, we've already got two of. We need to get two gross motor skills and two social skills. Oh, we've got the two social skills. Life, these are just things that happen, so we don't need to worry about that. And Love has got two social skills, one gross motor, so he needs to get another one, and needs to get two firsts and two fine motor things. Um, so that is what we are going to be working on in the next episode. We will also do a little bit of a tidy up. But I hope that you enjoyed our first 100 Baby Challenge 2.0 episode with the new infants. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below, and please help me. Give me some tips on how to help these infants get the milestones quicker, how to help the toddlers while also helping the infants. I need all the help I can get. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button as well to keep up to date with all of my Sims posts and all of my Sims videos. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Taz out.